Well, Tour 2018 has been one to forget, to be honest. Bar Real Madrid and Milan, it's been so hard to watch. Like, yeah, the, the games have been treated exactly what they are. A pre-season, uh, a kind of training session. And it's annoying watching as a fan. Um, but it's, it's kind of understandable, I suppose. But it's, it's just not what you want to see. Like, that was a terrible game. Uh, against Bayern Munich, they dominated from start to finish really, we didn't even have a shot on target, it is Bayern Munich though, they were pretty much full strength, the only player that they didn't start at the start of the game was Lewandowski, he came on at half time, uh, so they had like all their big players in there, they brought on Goretzka, uh, the new signing at uh, half time as well, and yeah, they played very very well, the goal came from a corner, Javier Martinez, um, Bailly went off as a precautionary injury, I, I don't think he's really injured, I think, because it's pre-season, Jose took him off, but the defence looked shambolic when he went off, and uh, he might have been able to clear that one, but yeah, uh, we started the game with Lindelof and Bailly, and they were uh, the positives in this game, I think, them and De Gea, who made a couple of, um, well, there were decent saves in the first half, nothing spectacular, you know, nothing uh, De Gea, uh, you know, wonder saves, but he, he was solid, and then by and Lindelof, the first time we've seen that partnership since Lindelof joined the club, and um, I was happy to see it, and they, they did perform well, uh, they stifled Bayern Munich to like long range efforts, there wasn't really too much in the first half by way of chances from either side, but then in the second half, Bayern went off with an injury, and then obviously we started changing players, and we ended up with Jones, Smalling, I think Foster Mensa as well. We changed. We started with a 4-3-3 and then we changed uh, to a 3 at the back. Now, what this game does highlight is if we are wanting to play 4-3-3 as one of our formations, one of our main formations this season, which I'm sure we will want to, we need a right winger. Like We, we need a right winger. Matter plays better when he's um, central. Like As a right wing, he just doesn't have the pace to offer, um, especially when he's playing with you know, a, 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 another, well, a, a fullback. I mean, in this game, it was Darmian, and he's likely to start the season, to be honest, against Leicester because of the injuries to Valencia and Dalo. He also doesn't have a lot of pace. I know Valencia does when he comes. Dalo, I'm, I haven't seen him, so I, I presume he's pacey because he's young, but I have no idea. Um, but yeah, we definitely need a right wing. Like, we can't be playing Matter there this season. Uh, if Mata plays this season, it's got to be in a central role as like kind of a backup player. I like Mata; he's a good player, but yeah, he, he can't be playing that right wing role. Like, yeah, we we could play Jesse Lingard there as well, but again, he's better centrally. Um, we we needed to full right wing, and yes, of course, we need a centre back. Everyone knows, but uh, positive news on the transfer front: I think we will get Toby Alderweireld. I think that will be on Thursday though, on deadline day. Uh, Yerry Mina, complete smoke screen. I mean, he's off to Everton. Like, Sky Bet did that to drum up interest. It's so obvious. Um, another one, Harry Maguire again. Uh, Sky Bet saying that we're going to bid. If that's true, Sky usually only report interest. They don't really report that a club's set to bid. So they'll have been briefed from United. And I reckon it's just going to be like a 50 million offer that we know Leicester will reject in order to, you know, get one final ploy to bring down Alderweireld's price uh, and we'll end up signing him for 55, 60 million on deadline day. Watch this space. Like, if it doesn't, I'll be surprised and uh, I'll be shocked. And he, he will plug a gap in our defence, of course. If we are going with a back three, uh, I think we do want to kind of switch it up between a, a, a 3 5 2 or 3 4 1 2 um, and a 4 3 3. I think that's the formations Jose wants to use because we're expecting a lot of injuries this season, let's be honest. So we're not always going to have our biggest players playing so it's good to have different systems and yeah he's experimenting with them and i think they are the two systems he wants to play so with Alderweireld, we'll have when everyone's fit i would imagine it would be by Alderweireld and lindelof and then as a back two it'd either be Alderweireld, lindelof or i Alderweireld and by um by he's going to get injuries he's just susceptible to them unfortunately but hopefully he can stay uh, fit for an entire season because that's the only thing that's uh, stopping him from really excelling because you can see every time he plays he's just phenomenal I mean he was the best player for us in this game um, but yeah in terms of transfer targets there hasn't really been anyone recently talked about other than Alderweireld, Maguire and Mina um, and I've said my piece on that there's been no other like right wing targets supposedly um, so I hope we just pull out something 
Uh, there's only, well, after today, three days of the window left. Three days, and it closes at 5 p.m. on Thursday. So there's none of this bullshit where, you know, we can sign a Radamel Falcao. Hopefully we don't, because I know how poor he did. But you know what I mean. Like a Radamel Falcao at, like, 1 or 2 a.m. in the morning. Or a Fellaini. <laughs> Uh, again at like 2 in the morning it's 5pm deadline so I think with all the paperwork and shit if you've submitted it in time you can probably extend that to about 6, 7pm 8pm absolute maximum so we don't have a lot of time to fuck around so we're going to have to pull something out of the bag because yeah, it's just not enough if you want to challenge for the title if you want to get top 4, fair enough we, we've got enough I think to challenge for top 4 but who the fuck wants to challenge for top four you want to be t challenging for the title Manchester United that's what we are supposed to be we're supposed to be a team that fights for the league not that is happy to settle for third and fourth and unfortunately if we don't get the required targets that might be exactly what we have to settle for this season I hope not and I hope I'm proved wrong well to be honest I hope I'm proved right in the transfer market that we actually go out and sign some players but if we don't I hope I'm proved wrong and I'm going to be optimistic. You know, it hasn't been a great preseason. We're probably not ready for the game against Leicester. But you know what? Fuck it. Let's get the three points on Friday.